Bro, you're the best. All right, Vivi and Ralphie. Man, they're starting really quick, and I have to like set all this up. Anyway, so Ralphie actually going uh, Pokemon Trainer. I actually haven't seen too much of his trainer. Now, I am definitely like of the. Uh, oh, and thank you for the sub yourself, Rapture. Much love. Anyway, so as a trainer main, I kind of feel like in any matchup I go into, I'm just like, man, trainer kind of, trainer probably wins. So I kind of think no different in this one too. Uh, I will say that this one is a lot trickier because you know, uh, Razor Leaf is a really scary option, and they made it even laggier now. So like, if you get countered, you could actually just die. Uh, it has like a big range for it. He like kind of teleports you. Uh, Squirtle, you have to be really careful, although. Uh, Ralphie actually doing a really good job. He got that damage that he wanted to get in and just switches off. And so now we have like a little bit of like a slower game uh, with Ivysaur, which is tough because, you know, uh, Lucario is really quick. So like you have to like properly stuff things or Lucario is going to get in. And he is. So like Vivi, like not uh, letting him like build that pressure, not letting him get that wall there. And oh, I really like the way that Ralphie's getting those grabs, though. Uh, you have to grab extra early because of the like extra slow tether grab. Grabs are only six frames. That's 13 frames, so it's over twice as slow. Uh, but yeah, so he actually was able to catch his uh, extreme speed with Charizard up, th uh, up smash. And I don't know. I kind of feel like during the kill, he should have maybe like switched from Squirtle to Charizard. Uh, switched to Charizard. Ended up going to Ivysaur. Uh, although he's making really good work right now, so maybe never mind. Okay. So, Ralphie taking some good advantage of the platforms for, like, runoff back air and stuff. You know, Charizard Bear is huge, and oh my god! Almost going through this entire stock with Charizard alone. Ralphie is doing fantastic, but finally going to get hit by... Uh, Falling or a sphere charge into up air, uh, so that's gonna kill him. He had already built. He had 85 damage and like aura, so yeah. And Charizard, you know, his, his weight can only help so much. So now we see uh, Ralphie kind of like skipping over Squirtle. I guess I kind of understand that. Like, if you mess up in this situation, you're gonna get hit ultra hard, and it's just like it's not worth it for baby, you know. So. Get Ivysaur out there, and ooh, ooh! Those two down airs, that was really sick. Uh, now he's just gotta get that kill. He's already gotta look for that kill, that's fantastic. But now we gotta see uh, what Vivi's gonna do to try and evade those situations. And you see Ralphie just going like, I'm the bouncer, man, I'm gonna clock in so I can clock you. Trying to get that kill. Ooh, see, this is always like a double edged sword for Charizard, because, like, yes, he's like, he has like, he can sneeze on you and kill you. And like Ralphie definitely be schmoovin'. Uh, but you know, like Cario, like he's a big target, so Cario can like really take advantage of that. But Ralphie was able to take out that stock and uh, hit him with that back air. And yep, just like before. Now it's kind of the reverse reasoning, but uh, so Squirtle just, it's like, I'm already at too high percent. Uh, it's not worth it for baby. You know, you have to make sure you have like an extreme confidence or like a really good game plan or just be inside your opponent's head if you want to stay Squirtle for that situation and like get your low percent combos. Also the fact that like Rage would like kind of mess things up a little bit. So you have to be uh, trained with that too. Uh, Ralphie landing with like single hit uh, bear. Uh, I kind of, that was pretty cool looking. Oh, I'm curious of what Ralphie had pressed at that very moment. I think he had just like tried. To, it maybe like caught his roll or something. But Vivi was able to, uh, you know, basically he caught him. And I just want I'm going to look at the replay real quick. Yeah, he just held shield, so he just got side beat. And now we're on last stock. And now you see like the percents are low enough on on uh, Lucario's side, and you know Squirtle's at zero. So yeah, time to go, baby. See if you can rack up that extra defense, uh, the extra damage. Okay, and yeah, so now he's got him at the percent, trying to go Ivysaur now. Ooh, slaps that out of here. 
reads his aerial movement and is able to catch him with the up air. Uh, Ralphie going to be taking game one. So let's see what Ralphie gets rid of. He's getting rid of FD and Town and City. Or, wait, oh. FD and Kalos. You want to cast numbers? Oh. All right. Yeah. Monday. So, yeah, Ralph is going to be sticking to Pokemon Trainer. I uh, respect that. Makes sense. And yeah, so Ralph got rid of uh, FD and Kalos. So now we're going to Town City. Um, yeah, that's kind of like the next best thing if you're trying to go for that sort of thing. So uh, I guess big ups to Ralphie for... You know, really getting rid of the correct stages because I, you know, based on this counter pick, I kind of feel like if he hadn't gotten rid of either of those two, we would have seen that stage. So uh, the other thing is that this stage is absolutely massive. It's uh, a complete reverse of it's uh, showing its debut in Smash 4. And then we got some extra even percents going on right now. Hi, Mavado. Someone tweet at Dill to get me water. Thank you. Please help. Anyway. All right. Where was I? Ooh. All right. So Vivi had, was building a pretty solid lead there, but Ralphie was able to completely reverse that. Uh, started just getting right past what he wanted to get for, and uh, got some sizable punishes, you know, like full hit Ivy Nair and stuff like that. Uh, and now we're seeing really even percent going on, and Charizard's already out, just at the FTE transformation. So this might either be good or bad for Charizard. Let's see what. Ooh, the extreme speed actually just bumping right into him. And uh, yeah, Vivi gonna be taking that first stock. Uh, not reading the DI correctly for that down throw up B there. Really even percent, although at this point, I kind of feel like, you know, DV's a little bit in the driver's seat. You know, you see that Ralphie's like kind of, he's the one doing the engaging, uh, and uh, like he's just waiting a lot for it. Yeah, so BB taking the second stock. Oh my god. Uh, 100 damage is, you know, uh, not that bad of a percent, especially for like Lucario. Well, he's not going to be able to use that. Never mind. 
Uh, that that run up forward tilt from uh, Charizard gonna seal that stock out. What penny bits do we want to see for Ralphie, and what penny bits do we want to see for Vivi? Let me know. All right. So now you see, like Vivi, I feel like Vivi's like kind of feeling himself. Like, I feel like he does all of these, like, extra dash dances when he kind of gets into the zone. And he's just like, oh, yeah, look how cool I am. You know, not actually. But uh, I definitely think he's, like, in a, in a zone. And he's just, like, trying to, like, really bait a lot of space here. Charizard might be heavy, but he's still at 150 and has like a 100% deficit against Lucario right now. Ooh, ooh. Charizard definitely the one that could accidentally kill. We call that a crit in Pokemon games. And yeah, Ralphie be still in, uh, closing the gap really, really handedly. Dude, Ralphie's Charizard is OD. Oh, okay. That was cute. Alright, so Vivi getting rid of Battlefield and Yoshi Story, and uh, Ralphie gonna go. We're going back to PS2. Okay. What's up, Sinji, in the chat? Are you already gone? You already uh, OD chilling? Either way, enjoy the break, bro. All right, press one if you got VV, press two if you got Ralphie. I want to see in the chat what we got going. Game three, Cario Trainer. Ooh. Okay. What up, Jewel? Yeah, I'm holding it down. Anyway, yeah, so we're going PS2. Pretty sure this is where game one was, so. Ralphie definitely on that wave of, yeah, I won here, so I can do it again. Uh, but we got definitely can't sleep on any of the adaptation that Vivi made. Now, uh, while Vivi was doing some really cool stuff uh, near the end of game two, uh, you definitely saw that Ralphie definitely had an answer, uh, you know, for Vivi's answer. So, yeah. Uh, now we're going to see. Uh, how much of that's going to transfer over? How much, uh, the, how much reflection we're going to see over these past two game, past two games? And yeah, we're seeing some, not seeing too uh, big uh, like squirtle strings going on here. A lot of just like neutral play, and so because of that, we're seeing a lot of uh, trading and just like back and forth on the damage, which you know for a baby like Squirtle is actually kind of a, a net negative. You don't really want that to happen. You want to build like a pretty sizable lead uh, with Squirtle, then tag him out. Uh, either way, though, you know, going even in general is still going to be fine. You know, as trainer, you still have the ability to swap out and oh, he actually wasn't even that close to dying. He he went into the magnifying glass, but if you saw, he he was kind of like just outside the regular camera. Okay, getting hit by the shotgun. Universe was born from that uh, Aura Sphere. That's going to be a death. Yeah, it's a stock right there. Uh, Vivi just kind of running up and do it. And now we're going to see probably Ralphie's uh, Schmoven Schneiss uh, Charizard. I really like what he, uh, I really like his game plans with this. Like the, even that empty jump into grab, that was like really sick. All right, covering the uh, ledge hop with forward air and was able to catch him there. So. Not really much extra damage for a sol to solidify a lead for Vivi there. Back down to just early percent. And now we're again, we're going to see uh, Cario 
Squirtle, but this time you see Vivi's beginning to pull away just a little bit. Yeah, you see that Vivi's like kind of just being like, you have to chase me. Uh, you know, Squirtle's buttons aren't big. He's fast, so he has to go, he has to go in. But because Gario is still also a pretty fast character, and like you see that Vivi's like doing a defensive style, you know, uh, you know, he was kind of in the driver's seat. But uh, Ralphie was able to, you know, uh, mix him up and uh, actually get a pretty decent string going. Now taking the lead in damage. Uh, during all that, able to switch over to Ivysaur as well. So he's already kind of like in a, a lot better position. God, this is like a really high second stop. The fact that there's another, it's like we're either going to see it stay close or the next stock is going to be a wash for whoever gets the kill. Uh-oh. Did I jinx Ralphie? Maybe. Yeah, this is like a, a pretty prime position you want to be. Uh, like when you have a stock lead and your percent is like, it's high, but it's not like super high. So they still need to like, they still have to work for the kill. And like the speed that Lucario has, like, you know, ooh, uh, all right. You know, he's just able to like, you know, it's like you come to me, man. I'm going to just like, kind of like wait. I don't have to overextend. So with his percent building up and in the special case for Lucario, it's just like he's actually just getting stronger. And like when he's playing that defensive game, you need to make sure you make the right read. Uh, and uh, yeah, Ralphie gonna re uh, definitely stop him on that aerial cross up that he had right there with that up air. But now, Squirtle's at 80 damage and, uh, I've, and Vivi's at zero. Boom. All right, so before we saw that at those percents that Ralphie would have already switched off a of Squirtle, but I like that he stayed on because he definitely like gave him a bit of a mix. And now because of that, we have really early, we have really even percent. Uh, Ralphie was just like, I gotta, I gotta make this even. I gotta make the play, uh, and doesn't matter how light my character is, I'm gonna make this play. And he got the play. So now, is he gonna stay Charizard? Okay, his Charizard has been putting in mad work, so I actually really understand it. Trying to stuff the. Extreme speed, but Vivi opting for the ledge. Still oh, still good coverage in general. Don't do that. You actually lost. Yeah. Uh, unfortunate. Great stuff by Vivi. It's just I don't want to see a loss like that happen like that, you know? So uh, that was I thought that was a really fun set. Good stuff by the both of them. Uh, really dumb way to end the set but whatever. Vivi moves on. 2-1.